and in a moment. But for now, we're looking <laughs> at salts and FFG, Zath. So we're back for another game on Hotspot, which I'm glad. I want to see more teams play this map. I think it's Absolutely. interesting to see how everybody tries it out because it's new. Talk to me about the salts lineup, Zath. Here's here as we, we spawn. They see them spawning to the northeast corner. So uh, Salts is bringing a Burgonia, which is exciting to see. Uh, mm -hmm. Kremlin, Dual Des Moines, Nevsky. There's the Golden Lion again. Uh, Double Shimakaze and a Hayate. Hayate is an interesting choice. Have we ever seen Hayate in King of the we Sea? We have not that I remember mm -hmm. ever I, seen I, Hayate, nor do I ever want to see it. <laughs> in King I, of the I sea. can't remember. I can't remember. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, opposing them from the south, FFG bringing a much more destroyer-heavy lineup. Montana Kremlin backing that up, fronted by Des Moines, Minotaur, and Moscow, a, presumably um, a, a Manitar again. And then mm. for a very ver varied destroyer lineup, gearing Marceau, Shimakaze, and a Vampire Deuce. And that Shimakaze seems to be running 12-kilometer torpedoes. Mm -hmm. Now, we've seen teams... This is a, this is The four-destroyer lineup is is definitely something we're seeing more teams go for here on this map, right? We saw mm. it last game with uh, Fail, the, the 007 guys. Right. We saw it yesterday with, uh, what team did we cast on Hotspot that used four destroyers? It was KSE did it mm -hmm. yesterday on this map. Um, mm -hmm. And here we are seeing FFG do the same thing. Um, Salts, obviously going for a little bit more of a traditional three destroyer lineup. We'll have to see if they can make it work for them. Right. Right, and I, I like the idea of the four destroyers. It gives a, a, an awful lot of flexibility for the team. Um, yeah. But if you go four destroyers, there's a trade-off, right? There's a little bit less hit points on the board. Uh, your mm -hmm. cruisers maybe are a little bit more exposed simply because there's one less of them for the enemy to shoot at. So yep. your, your cruiser players have to have their heads on a swivel more so than normal. <laughs> yep. Now, what's one of the things that's interesting, Zath, and I want to point this out, um, because the Burgonia has so little HP for a mm. battleship at tier 10. Mm -hmm. um, the health pool between these two teams, not that radically different, only about 10,000 HP. So despite the fact that they brought an extra destroyer, mm -hmm. um, uh, FFG actually has a small, a very small health advantage. Believe now it that's or not. interesting to consider, uh, it especially is. since you do have the, the vamp. Can't remember. Vampire Two does not have a heal, or does it? Does not have a heal. No, Thank none you. of the, none of the destroyers on the board have a heal at all. None. Right. Which is on also unusual. Team. Yeah. On either team, right? All right. So Shimakaze. let's talk. About, Go ahead. Let's talk about the Hayate for a second. Um, okay. I, I mean, Meh is is the best way I always describe this ship. Why do you think they brought a Hayate to King of the Sea? It's a good question. I I like Hayate. I like. She's a she's a perfectly fun ship to play in random battles. Mm. I've never felt she was worth her free XP cost. Two million free XP for that ship is too much, in my opinion. But she's a tier Hayate, 10. I've, she's a tier 10. She's, in my opinion, Hayate is kind of best described as a Japanese gearing. She mm. wants to be a nice hybrid. She packs basically two instead of three Shimikaze torpedo launchers. She brings mm -hmm. the same number of gun barrels as Shimikaze does, but her reload and turret traverse are significantly better to the point where she can actually function as a pretty solid little gunboat. Uh -huh. Where she struggles, Zath, is her detection. She is a half kilometer less stealthy than Zath, than um, Shim Shimakaze is, right? She has a 6.1 base detection on the surface. So she's outspotted by a whole host of things that already outgun her, like, say, a daring. So mm -hmm. she's a very challenging ship to play. Uh, and in an environment like this where you know you're going to be up against radar and gunboat destroyers and, you know, manatars and stuff, mm, mm -hmm. not a ship I would probably lean on. Now, doesn't she have the ability to take Torpedo Reload Booster, though? Um, I believe that she does. I'd have to check. In this environment, that might not be a bad way to go. Um, I play her in randoms with smoke because, you you know, for carriers, you want to get away, the, you know, get out of jail free card. Uh -huh. In this environment, of course, you don't have to worry about carriers. So... Maybe there's some value there. Right. I'm just trying to think about, I'm trying to theory craft here about why. Yeah, no. Why would you bring a Hayate? I love um, it. And, and, you know, our, our talk guys, we haven't really missed anything other than a couple of early trades, a couple early spots, but th there's nothing catastrophic to talk about so far. Not really. The decap is contested. C is now contested. A and B have kind of gone more or less the way you'd expect. And then what I guess the surprising thing to me is that Shoeless Joe's Minotaur is Smoke Minotaur 
rather than radar minotaur. Is it? Right? You're right, it, it is. is. Look at, yeah, check this out. And then I guess the other surprising thing to me is that the radar cruisers uh, for FFG have kind of gone the long way around, but the Moskva, that's, um, I'm not sure how I'm not sure how I'd pronounce this, but Finn, let's just call him Finn. Finn looks like he's trying to set up down here south of this island in about F4. That's where right. the Flint. Moines looks like he, oh, is that Flint, all sir. Flint? Flint. I got it. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. He looks like uh, that's uh, capsize your mom, Zap. There's a great name for you. Love it. Um, the Des Moines. He looks like he's going to try and go keep the door closed over on the one two line. So, other than the other than Flint's Moskva here, you don't have anybody with the ability to radar the middle of the board. Yeah, and I would say Flint's positioning is is quite tenuous. I don't like him being so far away from islands, but Ooh. I suppose he doesn't have to worry oh, too the Hayate much. Hayate is getting slammed right now. They've got him that. lit or radared somehow. He's going out. There he goes. That's it. Mm. Uh, let's see if it was the Des Moines radar. No. Hmm. I think the... I don't know. I'm not sure how they spotted him right there. Masa's radar is not up. He's about to eat a face full of torpedoes. For his trouble, he doesn't have Hydro going. He's hitting this S key. Misses. He dodges. That one, he's taking two. Taking, he's going to take two in the bow. That's going to really hurt. Those are Shimakaze torpedoes. Those hurt pretty bad. That's why you hug islands in Moskvas. Indeed. The early ship lead here for, for uh, FFG... As they you take down the Salt Hayate. Go ahead. You were mentioning earlier overall positioning. I'm also curious about sending both the Kremlin and Burgonia to the same cap. And look, now they're now they're they're yeah. both changing they're, like schools of fish. Yeah, they're kind of playing the middle of the board, which is a little unusual. Again, it's 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 awkward <laughs> for the moment. I mean, they're not dead, but it's it is yeah, yeah, highly unusual to see them both yeah, doing this. Yeah, they're now, not dead yet, should, but look at the torps. Yeah. I know that no, the Kremlin's about to take two Japanese Shimakaze torpedoes. He's really going to hate his life after that. Cuts him down to about 30,000 HP as he pops a heel. Patent but detected I think on radar. Get Flint's Moskva. Oh, yeah. He's so, uh, oh, patent, patent yeah. chip. Patent, uh, yep. patent slap. <laughs> oh, yeah. I see it there. Patent slap. Oh, I get that reference. I get that. I was watching that movie just the other day, Zaf. Oh, it was going goodness. off. It was going off of. Amazon was taking it away. It was off going off oh. of Prime Video, and so I watched it. So good. Still uh, such a classic movie. I love that apology, and I love how they modeled Sheridan's apology with that. That was so beautiful. Yeah, it's, it's very similar. Flint getting low on fire again with his Moskva here down as he backs into the B-cap, popping his radar, I think just because he realizes he he's going out, wants to use it. He knows. Captain Klein taking a torpedo from Shimakaze. I'm pretty sure those torps were spotted, but maybe they weren't. Well, there goes oh. the Salt's Kremlin oh. right there in the middle of the board, just getting yep. robocopped by everybody yep. as FFG goes up two ships, although they might be about to lose Flint right here. Not yet. He's still spotted. Here Not, comes. Is this the spotted. Dutch oven? Is he going to get Dutch oven? No, no they, the Dutch no, oven is going for the Kremlin. They dropped on the Kremlin, yeah, on Griffin. Actually, a pretty good hit on the Kremlin there. Yeah. Looks like he took about 8K plus a fire. Uh, Flint pumping it back up with his HP. He'll be okay for a little bit longer. Yeah, he managed to survive down on 1,000 HP, get a heal off. So FFG still, for the moment, no ships off the board. Oh, look at the Marceau. Look at Untamed as the, just just running loose in the backfield here. Um, Cool? I mean, it feels a little cheeky. Uh, why would you not just go get on the cap and try to win the game? But, I I'm mean, what do I know? That's what I'm getting at. Now, Druby Rocks is taking the gearing into ACAP. He'll get it for free because the Golden Lion is turning away. Uh, so yeah. maybe that's the plan. Maybe that was the idea. Get the Marceau out and, just, and up maybe in the just, backfield. Maybe use the Marceau a bit, of, a bit of a stalking horse to push the push the Des Moines away because now Druby is out of radar range, as you said. Yes. So now they can basically get a basically you know, for free. Nobody can spot them. <gasps> and they are picking up C as well. Look at the Minotaur. Look at Shoeless JoJo. Backing up. Oh, just barely hits W in time to dodge three racks of Shimakaze. Wait. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> he's he's going to need Nevsky some toilet paper right after that front. one. Well, he's got a, He's in a duel with a Nevsky now. And interestingly enough, he actually he actually has a higher rate of fire than Nevsky, who looks like he might beat himself if he's not careful. Let's watch this battle unfold. Oh, there you go. Smoke Joe's, up. Joe's, <laughs> Joe smokes in front of the radar cruiser, so he's 
Well, and his, somehow he's still spotted through the smoke. His smoke fire penalty is is going to be greater than five kilometer anyway. Four I would, I would whatever. think, I would think so. Certainly, as the Nesky gets closer, the smoke fire penalty would would make up for it. Right. So, uh, yeah, that that's um. I mean, wait. I if he can get on effort. an angle and get an extra turret in, mm -hmm. he can probably win this fight just by getting pens on the Nevsky superstructure. I, I mean, we'll have to see. He's automatically winning it right now, Bao An. Uh, the question is, does he have a super heal available? And he he's does. He's healing right now. Yeah, I'm he watching does. him heal right now. He's healing through a decent chunk of this Nevsky damage. He's trying but to out trade Thunderhawk. It's not, as it's they not claim, much. They, as, as the FFG now up three ships. Yeah, Flint they take takes the down go, the They take lion. the Golden Lion off the board. Total control here for FFG, bore less. I mean, they don't own the D-cap, but they have a three-ship lead, and they own every other cap, so do you mm -hmm. really care right now? Oh, yeah, big Monty Salvo going in on the Des Moines. Saw that Slapping one Slapping around in. Captain Don there a little bit. Joe now trying to snuggle up to the island and deny more shots. FFG finishing off the Des Moines. Kremlin shots coming in from the four line, polishing off the Des Moines in the decap. A four ship lead for FFG now. I can't believe Sheila's Joe is still alive. Um, unfortunately, like that heal didn't give him a lot of hit points. He must have taken some torps no, or citadels early he's, on. He's finally unspotted. I think the Shimakaze was proxy spotting him through the island and is again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's yeah, pretty radar. close to it. Is that a radar? Maybe that's Hydro. I think that was Hydro from the next. Looks, it looks like it looks like Gene Shimakaze might just try to come around here and assassinate him. Another I mean, heal going off now for Joe. His his Step name. Over, he's back to ten thousand. The Shimakaze's name is Genius. So let's see well, if this is a genius let's play. See, let's see if this is a genius play. He's about to stumble into Minotaur torpedoes. No. Oh, but he hits he the brakes. They flew and, right by. He hits the brakes and gets the kill. Oh my God. That well is done. worthy of a replay. Wow. Well done to Genius. Quite the genius there. Yeah, it, really, it really was a genius play, wasn't it, Zath? Wah, I mean, wah, wah, wah. and then the Montana and Vampire Deuce are just, yeah, they're like. They're just going to, they're just going <laughs> to pound him to dirt. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, it's, it's a bit of a Pyrrhic victory for Cruel, right? <laughs> I mean, like, I mean, for, for sorry, for, for, uh, for FFG, right? Because like they. You know, they are for salts. Yes. Thank yeah. you. Like they, you know, they're going to lose the game, but they had a really spectacular kill along the way. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, imagine as a Shimakaze player, not many Shimakaze players have the balls to charge a Minotaur. That guy right? did and made it work, which is impressive. <laughs> Can you imagine if the Minotaur, instead of single fire torps, just just spreaded them like just, normal just, or just or just shot him with his guns? <laughs> oh, what 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 is what is this I you speak know. of, sir? What is this lunacy you speak of? I know, but yeah, the wide fire would have been entertaining as too. Captain Ken looks like he is the farm target now. Yeah, in the middle I believe of the map. when he dies, that should that's gonna just about end the game. If it doesn't end the game instantly when he dies, he's going down in seconds. There he goes. All right, so we're we're seconds away from an FFG win here. Not a clean sweep. Mm -mm. Shoeless Joe does go down, but I mean, really solid play from these guys. Um, picking up the kills that they could, making some very, very aggressive plays. Again, Zath, we see the four destroyer composition on four cap hotspot yeah. making a big difference. Yeah. Can we just talk about the fact that Flint survived that whole battle when we were looking at him and being like, dude, what are you doing there? Did he really? He, he survived. He's like 1,000 HP. He did. He survived. He lived. He wow. Lived. Wow, for a guy that had a like 1100 HP at one point, that is that is well done. That is well done. That is, is well, grass to both teams, but well that is done. an FFG win. So good kudos to them. Well played here on Hotspot. And Zach, we need to run away to our next game. I think they might hopefully be holding it for us. Ah, uh, we we shall see shortly. I need to update my uh, my winner thing here. So I'm gonna set him as winner. Give them their due. Wah and... wah wah wah. What? Nothing. Okay. All right, let's run away to our other game, which is should have started about a minute ago. So don't dawdle. Let's get back over there. That's going to be who was host that Mad Dog. Mad Dog is our host. That's going to be fail. And this time it's going to be fail versus somebody else. Fail versus Salvo. Salvo. Fail versus Salvo. And we're going to Northern Water. 
They haven't started it yet. I am here. Perfect. Perfect. I will be in in seconds. And then they can push that drop button whenever they are ready. We are going to be there in moments. I like Salvo's logo too, Zaf. Do you see that? It's got uh, a very pinup feel to it, doesn't it? I don't know. I haven't looked at it yet. I'm updating my okay. sheet right now. So, Felder no worries. Salvo, Northern Waters. There we go. For All me, right. I, I wanted to make sure we got into the into the game first. And yep, no worries. Oh yeah, Salvo, good. I like it. All right, excellent. We're gonna squeeze an extra game in here after all, just just by virtue of staying on top of things. I love it. I love it That's when a plan right. comes together, Zach. I love it when what? a stream comes together. I need a cigar. I need a cigar that I can chomp on. I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> what plan? What plan, Zach? We had a plan? We just, we modified our plan slightly in midstream, and now we're back on plan. Everything is great. See? Uh, it's not that hard. Go. There you go. Always See have a I mean? plan. We're good. Always have a plan. We're good. Hey, look, this was your idea. You're the one that, that sat down on, like, was it Wednesday night, Thursday night? It was like, Something I'm like scheduling that. every game on Saturday. I was like, you do that. So I get this, I get this PM from Zad. He's like, here's our, here's what we're, here's the games we're casting on Saturday. I was like, sir, yes, sir. Let's do it. <laughs> so, uh, uh, you know, like in, in the past, I mean, you know, a lot of times we talk over it, but I was concerned mm. that we would, we would lose some of the, some of the games, especially once I realized the way that the, the hosting was set up along with the timings, mm. I thought to myself, if we screw this up, one of us is, is going to get just, you know, we're, we're going to be, you know, hosted for half of a game and then another half or something. Yeah. So. Yep. You know. Yep. All, All right, right. Here we go. Zath dropping into our very next game as we are just pounding them out here today. Going That's to right. Northern Waters to have a look. Have a look at Fail versus Sal.